Hello and welcome to the GCSE 9 to 1 Music Online Training for Component 2, Composing. To complete this training, please ensure the following items from the download pack are to hand. The revised specification and recordings of performances. Finally, a good quality amplifier and speakers are essential if you are to hear detail when marking performances. This session will cover the application of the assessment criteria on pages 27 to 42 of issue 3 of the GCSE 9 to 1 music specification document. And it will explain the moderation processes for component 2, composing. The aims are to gain an insight as to how students performed in Component 2 in the 2019 examination and to moderate some sample candidates' work. Hopefully, during the course of this session, many of the commonly asked questions will be answered to help you and your students. Here is a specification overview. Component 2 is marked in red and will be the focus of today's training session. The assessment objectives for this specification are provided in this table. A01 deals with performance, A02 with composition, and A03 and A04 with listening and appraising. In August 2019, Pearson updated the GCSE 9 to 1 music specification document. It is very important that teacher assessors use the most recent versions of all documentation, including the specification, composition authentication sheet, CAS, and Administrative Support Guide document, ASG. These are all available to download on the GCSE Music page on the Pearson website. And they have also been provided in your pack for download. The specification can be accessed by clicking on the hyperlink on this slide. Let's start with the assessment process. In order to comply with the updated specification requirements, students must submit a portfolio of two compositions which have a combined duration of three minutes. One must be a free composition and the other a student's response to a brief set by Pearson. Each composition must be a minimum of one minute in length. If the student fails to meet the total minimum requirement, they will still be awarded a mark for the work, but the total will be reduced proportionally according to how many seconds less than the three minutes the combined compositions are. The scaling grid is available on page 81, Appendix. Each year, the set briefs are based on the four areas of study in the specification. These are instrumental music, 1700 to 1820, vocal music, music for stage and screen, fusions. These briefs are available to download from the Pearson website on the 1st of September in the year of certification. Free composition. Students should set their own briefs with support from the teacher. They should consider the role of the audience and or occasion and should produce one minute of musical composition. Now it is important that each student sets their own brief 
based on their own musical interests and experiences. Many schools set the same brief for all and often use instrumental forces that are unfamiliar to their students. Usually, the most successful and creative outcomes are achieved when students embrace the freedoms that the new specification offers. It is a specification requirement that students provide a detailed score to accompany their compositions. In the instances where screenshots or lead sheets are submitted, students must provide enough information so that the music may be easily replicated by another performer. Details can be found in the specification on page 34. In recording compositions, parts need to be correctly balanced to convey the students' intentions for the music. Composition timings must be accurately noted on the CAS and extended lead-in and lead-out sections removed. For students who submit songs, it is helpful, but not a requirement, that the vocal line is recorded live. This enables students to correct any errors with word setting and range, and this approach usually produces the most successful outcomes. The assessment criteria can be located on pages 37 to 41 of the most recent issue of the specification document. Each assessment grid is marked out of 10, giving an overall total of 30 marks for each composition. Teacher assessors apply three assessment grids when judging students' work. For assessment grid one, developing musical ideas, students tend to create ideas which are repeated rather than fully developed and extended. Most students select appropriate stylistic characteristics and conventions, but do not always maintain them consistently. It is very important that students consider all elements of the task when responding to the set brief. Assessment Grid 2, Demonstrating Technical Control To access the higher levels when applying the grid, students need to securely manage the musical elements, exploit all parts idiomatically, and consider textural variety. All three bullet points in this grid need to be given consideration when assessing the students' compositions. Assessment Grid 3 – Composing with Musical Coherence Students often consider structure when composing, and their music has a sense, and often a good sense, of direction. The most common error that students make is to overlook the contrast in the music, e.g. dynamic, textural or melodic contrast. Fluency is sometimes compromised between sections of the music. It is important to give more thought to the coda or ending of a composition to bring the music to a satisfactory conclusion. In 2019, many moderators noted that centres were submitting older versions of the CAS. The updated versions are available from the Pearson website in September. Please check that you are using the current CAS before submitting coursework. The Administrative Support Guide, ASG, is also available to download from the Pearson website. It gives centres advice on how to compile recordings and prepare the sample ready to send to the moderator. This document is updated each year, and it is important that centres use the most recent version when completing their submission. The set briefs are available to download on 1st of September in the year of certification, 
and this year's tasks are listed on the screen. It is vitally important that, when pupils respond to these briefs, they must consider all elements of the task being set. For example, if a student selects Brief 1, Instrumental Music 1700 to 1820, they must create a discrete melodic line for a soloist, as well as developing and extending a theme and variation structure to be performed in a chamber concert. Many candidates overlook this requirement in both the 2018 and 2019 examination series. Similarly, for Brief 4, their music must show evidence of both styles or traditions appropriate for a Mardi Gras celebration. As part of this training session, we are going to moderate two exemplar candidates. Both portfolios contain both a free and a set brief composition submitted for moderation for the 2019 examination series. Here is the first portfolio of two compositions submitted by candidate A in 2019. Please download this clip to begin the activity. But before you listen to the free composition for this candidate, please look at the relevant CAS and note the teacher assessor marks and comments. Use the assessment criteria on pages 37 to 41 in the GCSE 9 to 1 music specification to help you assess the composition. You should always listen to the composition at least twice before making a judgment. So we will play the piece twice today. Pause this presentation now and restart when you are ready.
As you can see, the teacher assessor awarded the free composition 22 out of 30 marks and the set brief composition 21 out of 30 marks, giving an overall total of 43 for the candidate's portfolio. This screen shows the justification for the change in marks awarded by the moderator. It is always helpful to include as much information on the candidate's score as possible in order to guide the moderator towards the key features of the music. In this instance, the candidate achieved Level 4 for Assessment Grids 1 and 3 and Level 3 for Assessment Grid 2. It was felt that the teacher assessor was slightly generous with their judgment of assessment grids 2 and 3. This is a response to Solo Brief 1, Instrumental Music, 1700 to 1820. As previously mentioned, many candidates overlook the requirement to compose a solo line with the accompaniment. For example, a solo piano with no accompaniment, or a violin one part within a string quartet, would only meet this brief in some respects. Please download this clip to begin the activity. Pause this presentation to listen to the piece, and restart when you are ready. We can see that the teacher assessor was slightly generous with assessment grids 1 and 3, but accurate with assessment grid 2. Most candidates consider the elements of music and texture within this assessment grid. To achieve level 4 or 5 overall, it is important that they demonstrate an understanding of the musical forces they select by exploiting the range of the instruments, by highlighting a variety of performance techniques and by setting lyrics appropriately. When the totals are combined, the moderated score was 39 out of 60, which is four marks fewer than the marks awarded by the teacher assessor. Candidate B also submitted a portfolio of two compositions. Composition 1, the free composition, is titled Solo Una Samba. Please download this clip to begin the activity. Pause this presentation to listen to the piece and restart when you are ready.
The teacher assessor awarded this candidate 55 out of 60 for their Component 2 portfolio. When this work was assessed, it was felt that for Assessment Grid 1, there was enough development and extension of ideas and appropriate handling of conventions to lift this mark into Level 5. The candidate responded to Set Brief 3, Music for Stage and Screen, a spy chase using light motifs. So we will repeat the assessment process for this set brief composition. Play it twice. It's called The Dawn Pursuit. Please download this clip to begin the activity. Again, pause and restart when you are ready. Once again, it was felt that the teacher assessor was slightly harsh in the application of assessment grids 1, developing musical ideas, and 3, composing with musical coherence. In both cases, the student's mark was raised to achieve 10. In summary, the student achieved 58 marks out of a possible 60. The portfolio was well over the required three-minute minimum duration. The students submitted some ambitious and creative music and richly deserved the mark they achieved. Please feel free to contact us using the details on this slide. The Ask the Expert service is also available for any queries you have on any aspect of the GCSE 9 to 1 music specification. Please do not hesitate to contact us with any concerns you may have. Geoffrey Hull is the subject advisor for music and music technology. Thank you for participating in this training session. We are looking to recruit new moderators. As you can see, it is a very rewarding experience which will benefit you and your students. Please watch the short video below to see what Pearson can offer you. Hopefully, this session has given you an insight 
into the process of assessing component two. Thank you for joining.